Well, here we go again, down the rabbit hole of potentially hyperbolic spice claims. Garden of Eden has been around since 1971, and they're uh, also ran tortilla chip, corn chip, and even taco brand. Can't say I've ever really heard of them. More than likely, I've just passed them by all this time without ever giving them a second thought, but hey, that's the fate of a lot of second tier snack brands that aren't owned by PepsiCo. But in at least one famous example, they're a good bit healthier than the competition, though in another, they're about equivalent, and I'll get into those later. Whatever the numbers actually show, Garden of Eden has long positioned itself as a healthy alternative, a progressive champion. In their own words, their founder, Al Jacobson, toured with the idea of becoming a vegetarian in the early 1900s as a toddler living on a farm when his family ate the chicken he was especially fond of. In the 1940s, he dabbled in yoga and metaphysics and became a traveling product demonstrator for Hayden Pure Foods, an organic company. And two and a half decades after Jacobson created his own health food company, Garden of Eden, it became a part of the Hain Celestial Group. And the subject of today's video is a product of that union, Garden of Eden Wicked Hot Tortilla Chips. Now this channel's only been around three months, but I already have a long history of taking the piss out of foods with extravagant spice claims. Scorching Pringles, screaming hot veggie straws, flaming hot popcorn, and quite possibly wicked hot tortilla chips. I mean, in my very first episode, I called out the so-called spicy version of a local fried chicken favorite. It's American spicy, by which I mean, it's not all that spicy. So let's see where this lands. American spicy or actually spicy? Mild salsa or, well, the tangiest I've had on this show is about medium salsa. This um, tastes like something, like almost exactly like something else. Really? You're eating Doritos? He's eating Doritos on my ultrasound. Well, that would explain it. Okay, let's do a little experiment. Let's see if I can tell the difference. Nope, not a clue. I mean, neither is all that spicy um, at all, but one of them is clearly riding the coattails of the other. Now to Garden of Eden's credit, their version contains 20 less calories per serving, but otherwise there's not really an appreciable difference. And the Garden of Eden version doesn't taste bad, it's just not what I would call wicked hot. And to my point earlier, there's just about no nutritional difference between Garden of Eden's corn chips and Fritos, so I'm not ready to crown Garden of Eden the savior of healthy snacks, whatever the founder's spiritual journey was or how it led him here. So I give Garden of Eden wicked hot tortilla chips a very bland and unoriginal three spoons out of five. As always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.